Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Um, I told you guys last week that I wasn't gonna come to you live this week. I was gonna transition over all my retired stuff to my new stuff, but here we are. I have things to show you. So of course we had to have Facebook Friday. Um, hopefully you guys have had a great week. We've had a stormy week here. Um, we had a huge storm yesterday, but today it's nice and sunny. Uh, I got to go to the beach last weekend, which was heavenly. Um, we had great weather during the day there as well. So I feel a little bit rested and recharged, which is always nice. Um, hopefully you guys are getting some rest and relaxation where you are. All right, let's see if I can find me, make sure I'm in the right place and uh, see if my iPad is going to um, cooperate. You guys, last week I told you my face, my, um, my, um, what am I doing? Nope, that's not what I wanna do. My iPad keeps crashing and I don't know why. Let's see, am I, am I sharing this to the right place? I think so. Um, and it's really hard for me to see y'all's comments. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Y'all said to delete the cookies, I tried that. I don't wanna buy a new iPad <laughs> just for that, but I can't use it, it's weird. All right, hello, good, I'm seeing all of you guys. Very good, very good. We have four projects today, so we may go a little bit long. We'll see um, Chile in Michigan after a few hot and muggy days. Shelly, I can't even wrap my head around Chile this time of year. Um, although we've had some pretty decent coolish mornings. I'm coolish, I mean like 63, 64, which is very nice, um, but cool. You guys, um, the thing about up north, when you guys get hot, you're not hot all night and like five months straight. You get to cool off and then you get hot and you cool off and y'all's evenings are cool. Here it is hot. Once it gets hot, like about June, that's it. The nights are hot, every day is hot, and it never, it never relents. Oh, until like, like October-ish, November. Ah, and now we're, all our trips are canceled, all the camps are canceled, everything fun is not allowed. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do this summer. Hello, good to see you guys. Okay, so today, four projects. Things are different this week, okay? I, and I'm telling you, you guys, usually I'm way prepared. Like, like by Monday, I have Facebook Friday done. I know what we're doing. This week, literally today, this morning, I was finishing things up, trying to decide. I have made so many projects with the new catalog products that I couldn't narrow it down. I shared a picture yesterday with of a card, but then I've decided we're not making that today. <laughs> I could not decide. So it's nailed down. I have what we're making um, and you will see the other projects. I kind of made it like a long-term pl lesson plan for you. And um, next Friday, we, we will do the um, the one, the suite that I showed you yesterday. And yes, I don't know the names of anything yet. So please go easy on me. Today, we're gonna do a hodgepodge, four different stamp sets, okay? Two are retiring and two are new. And so here's the deal. If you want to get retiring product from this catalog or this catalog, you have until Tuesday, okay? So Wednesday, the new catalog goes live. Y'all help me out, those of you that know. I believe it's one o'clock mountain, right? Two o'clock central. And the system will be down for several hours. It's like a big deal for them to switch the system over from one catalog to the next. So if you want something from either of these catalogs, you have, I would say, Tuesday night at the latest. Don't wait though, don't wait, okay? So you have several days to order from this. Then on Wednesday, am I right you guys? Two o'clock central Wednesday, the new catalog goes live. That's this one. So I'm gonna make Facebook Friday projects today. Um, orders for these four make and takes will go through Wednesday at midnight, okay? So you have a chance you can order old stuff, uh, retiring stuff, shouldn't call it old, last chance items. You can order those, or you can wait till Wednesday and order new stuff. Or you can put two orders in. You can put one order in, 
now this weekend to get all the last retiring stuff that you want and then put a order in on Wednesday. If you do two orders for Facebook Friday, I'm going to send you the make and takes and I'm going to send you something else, a freebie, a goodie, an embellishment of some sort. Okay, so let's run, let's run through that again. All orders using today's host code um, through Wednesday at midnight, we'll get all four projects. Okay, and you only get one set of projects because I can't cut a billion projects. <laughs> so you get one set of projects. If you put in two orders, let's say you order this weekend and then you order again on Wednesday using this host code, I'm gonna throw in an additional free embellishment with your make and takes. How does that sound? Does that make sense? That way you can get, if you love the stuff I'm showing you today, the retired stuff, you can get it before it's gone. And if you are dying to order the new stuff, you can do that on Wednesday as well. Okay, so. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. Today's very different than normal. Um, usually I just pick one bundle and we make projects with that. Today we're all over the place. Um, but there is a PDF and this week we've got four projects. Um, the PDF is over at pinkbuckaroo.com. Has anybody gone over there to check to make sure it's popped up? The last few weeks I've screwed up um, and uh, it hasn't come up. Um, but it should be live now under the last photo. There's a link to this PDF. All the products that are that we're using, as well as me uh, as well as measurements that you'll need, are on here. Okay, so you can print it, save it, do whatever you want with it. It's there. It's free. It's for you. All right. Before I turn the camera around, before we start stamping, um, I am going to. I only have two little reminders for you. In color club. Here are our new in colors. Let's see if I can remember them. Let's see. Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, Misty, Moonlight. Is that right? Misty, Moonlight. That's the one I can't, I screw up every time. Cinnamon Cider and Just Jade. They're awesome. I love them. I've been playing with them a lot. Um, the In Color Club is like a subscription club to collect all the In Color products. Um, you can sign up through um, May 31st, that's the day I close it. On June 1st, I get organized so that on June 3rd, I can get ready to order everybody's stuff. I send invoices for the first month on the first of the month, okay? Um, you it'll go for five months, and every month you're gonna get a goodie envelope full of product featuring one of the colors. And so by the end of the five months, you'll have all five colors. Um, did Carla, was I right? Misty, Moonlight. Um, and it's kind of like um, a way to spread out the, the your money so that you're not spending, getting all the in-color stuff and having to spend a ton of money right away. Um, it's kind of like um, a subscription where you spread it out. Um, so that, if you wanna sign up for that, <laughs> Cindy, no post-it note, no, no post-it note. Somebody told me I needed to do that. Um, and sometimes I do put post-it notes over on my window, but not today. I remembered Misty Moonlight that the adjective goes first. And it's not moonlight mist. That's how I'm remembering it. Um, so in Color Club, okay? So that link is on my blog. You don't pay anything right now. Um, you just sign up and um, every month I will send you all the in color product for one color, as well as a handmade card and a bonus uh, product for free. Now, one caveat I'm going to say is that we are predicting lots of backorder issues here in the beginning. Um, so my In Color Club, you will get everything by the end of your five months, but we may have to, you know, this month get, or last next month get this month's ribbon or whatever, but I promise you, you will get everything that you pay for plus five months worth of free stuff, free embellishments. Okay, so that's that, you gotta sign up. I, I will close it June 1st, the morning of June 1st. Um, you know what, I, I can only see two comments at a time. So I'm gonna pull over my laptop um, because I can't stand not being able to see what you guys are saying. The second thing I want to remind you of is um, product shares. That's where you want a little bit of everything of either the designer series paper, otherwise known as pattern paper, or ribbon. And so if you get a ribbon share, you get a yard of all the new ribbons. If you want the paper share, you get it either a six by six piece of every sheet or six by 12. Um, that I'm 
that will be open through the third. I'm going to order all of those who have signed up by the, by the third. I will order all of those on the third. So make sure that you're signed up by then. Okay. And that information is, let's see, I don't want to hear my voice. That information is over on my blog. You can click on that. Um, you will have to email me for that registration link um, because you do have to pay for that ahead of time. Um, I can't order product unless you've paid for it um, before I order it, if that makes sense. So that, I will send you that link in um, an email. Just shoot me an email or a Facebook message and say I'd like to register for your product shares. Okay, I feel like that was all over the place. <laughs> um, let's see, I have prizes. Okay, my husband is message Facebook messaging me. Doesn't he know that I'm on Facebook Live? No. He doesn't know. Okay, how about prizes? So last week I said I would give away the Mountain Air Bundle and the Clubhouse Bundle to two people who shared the video on Facebook. So congratulations, and I'm having a hard time reading my own handwriting. Sharon, Shellen, Sharon Shellen. Jane, I don't know. Did you win last week, Jane? I don't think I got your address. Uh, message me, please, okay, or email me. So Sharon Shellen, hopefully I wrote that down right. Congratulations, Sharon. I don't believe I have your address, so please message me or email me. Email's the best, guys, because sometimes Facebook Messenger doesn't show your messages, and I don't get alerts for that on my phone, okay? <laughs> I'm not. It's sorry, Mr. Cruz. Sorry, not this week. <laughs> Diana Boone. You guys, Mike is one of my downline and he's pressuring me to so he can win a prize. I think he's going to have to win a prize soon, guys. I think we're going to have to we're going to have to pick his name. <laughs> Diane, Diana Boone. I don't have your 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 mailing address either, so please message me. Mike, you always make me laugh. Okay, this week I've got two bundles too. So Mike, you've got another chance. How about the cuckoo for you? So cute. And ride with me, that super cute little truck. All right, <laughs> Cindy. Um, Jane, Jane said, I did not, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't remember if you did. did I, if I didn't respond, then that means I didn't get it. Okay, so share the video on Facebook um, and I will pick two winners next Friday, okay? Oh, Diana. Okay, Diana, I'm going to lose that comment. So will you please message me on um, Facebook message or um, email, okay? Because I, it'll, when this is done, there'll be hundreds of, of um, comments. I won't be able to see your mailing address, but congratulations. Okay, so we're going to start stamping. Remember that you, I send your make and takes for free. These are a freebie for me. Here are some of the weeks past. Um, everything you need to make all four projects except for stamps, ink, and adhesive. You have to provide that yourself. Um, but I will send you all the paper, the envelopes, the ribbon that you need for your projects. And this week we've got four projects, okay? Um, two retiring, two new, all right? All right, let's see. I think we're ready to flip the camera. Remember, PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com. Here is the new catalog coming Wednesday afternoon. Don't try to get up early Wednesday morning and put your order in, it won't be ready. Wednesday afternoon, okay? And here's the one that you have until Tuesday night to order from, this one and this one, okay? Are we ready? I think we are. All right, let's see. Someone asked about my spirals. I do those myself. Um, I order, I have a binding machine and I do this for my stamp club only because a few years ago I got tendonitis. Um, okay, I'm gonna flip you guys while I'm telling you this. Um, a few years ago I got tendonitis really badly from um, binding so many catalogs because I was doing it for all of my team and all of my club and anybody who asked. And I got tendonitis really, really bad. And it took nine months plus physical therapy to get rid of that tendonitis. So now I only do a few spirals. But you guys can take your catalogs to any office supply store and they will bind them for like $5. They will also, you can also have them put on a clear cover on it. 
as well as um, you can even have dividers put in it. You can really personalize it. So um, if you want your catalog bound, just take it to your office store. Local, um, I know local stores probably will do um, an even better job and the price is probably better. Plus you'll, you'll um, be supporting a local business, all right? Okay, so last week I told you I had pulled out all of my retired stamps and, and um, I was labeling them and I could not let a couple of these go before we made one more project. I've got to make sure you guys know what's retiring because there's some really, really, really cute stuff, okay? Um, this is this little piggy and believe it or not, I have not, I've used it many times, but we have not, let's see, what page is it on? This is page 33. I have not, um, ever done a Facebook live with this little piggy that I can remember. And he's so popular and so cute that I don't, I want to make sure that you've gotten him. Here he is right here on page 33. All right. And the little cows. We did do a Facebook Friday with this over the summer. Um, but this guy, look how cute. Make sure that you have this set because it will be gone. It will be gone. And by the way, everything right now is while supplies last. So if you want something, you got to get it pretty quickly. Okay. All right. So we're going to make this little box, Hogs and Kisses. And this does feature a new ribbon, which is this new like faux suede ribbon. It was very nice. But inside, can you guess? Hugs, Hershey's hugs and Hershey's kisses, right? To go with the hogs and kisses. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's make our box first. Now, remember you guys, I sometimes y'all don't hear me and you think, I can't write all that stuff down. It's right here on the PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, here it is, right here. Here are your measurements, okay? Don't write it down. You don't need to write it down. Don't panic. It's there forever. All right, you're gonna need a piece of six by eight and a half. And you guys wanna hear a funny story? Um, I'm trying to use crumb cake a lot because uh, I ordered, I had crumb cake for a class to go recently. I don't remember which one it was. And I accidentally, I have no idea how, accidentally ordered like four times as many packages of crumb cake cardstock that I needed. So we're gonna be using crumb cake a lot. Got to use it up. All right, so six by eight and a half. We're going to score the long side at one and a half, three and a half, five, and seven. Turn it to the short side and one and a half and four and a half. This is going to be like um, a clamshell box or a pizza box. Um, and then we're going to put those cute little... Um, Sorry, my adhesive is really far over here. I need to pick it up. We're gonna put those cute little nested, um, where is my, is this my, yeah, okay. Um, those, what am I trying to say? Stitched nested dies. We're gonna put those on there. Okay, so we've done our scoring. So let's turn, you found those turtle brownies last week? <gasps> Oh, Debbie, you know what's funny about those? I've never tasted them. And when I pulled those out to use them, I noticed they had expired. <laughs> um, I had bought them a while ago and I just had never used them. So it's a good thing. I didn't eat them. But they're good, huh? Mm, I'm glad to know that. Or maybe I shouldn't know that. It's really hard. Um, doing what I do, I'm always buying like little candies and stuff. And then it's here. And then I'm like, oh. All right, I'm cutting all the score lines here on the long side. And I'm gonna cut the corners. Let's see, let me remember how I wanna do this. Okay, yep, I'm gonna cut the corners <laughs> off these tabs, okay. Um, no clean recordings this week. It has been a zoo around here. Um, I actually had a, like a, I don't know, some kind of conference call this morning um, with Stampin' Up! that took a lot longer than I had hoped. And um, so, uh, well, no, that's not true. It didn't take longer than, it actually took less time than, than I'd hoped. However, I just, it took up the time I was gonna do recording, clean recording. So no clean recordings this week. Hopefully I can get back 
on that routine of doing those clean recordings of these projects. Okay, so I cut the corners off out here. This tab, I cut corners off both sides of that tab. Now, you are gonna wanna use, um, let's use, let's use mm, Tombow. I don't know, I may be sorry. I can hear my dog snoring. Oh, it's Pepper, <laughs> she's snoring. I thought it was the old guy, the old man. Okay, maybe we won't use Tombow. My Tombow is at the bottom. And so, well, I'm gonna have all kinds of adhesive problems today. Is that is that how today's gonna go? It's a good thing we're getting new adhesive, right? Did you guys know we're getting new adhesive? Um, Stampin' Seal and Stamp, oh, this is terrible. Stampin' Seal is gonna replace Snail and Stampin' Seal Plus is replacing this, which has been gone for a while. Okay, so I put adhesive on the outside of these two and I'm going to fold up this side like this and like that. Okay. I'm very, very, very excited about the adhesive because I have been using, I mean, I have a ton, had a ton of fast fuse and, uh, you know, fast fuse had problems. And so a lot of mine that I have do what this one's doing, ripping that cardstock. Okay. See how I'm folding those in. So now you have your lid and it just goes like that. Okay. So let's put our hugs and kisses in there. Um, and we have good adhesive, but they're improving it. I've never been a fan of snail, honestly, just not a fan. Um, so I hardly ever use it. So I'm excited to see what this, the new Stampin' Seal is. Uh, we did not get to um, pre-order it, so I don't know, but I can guarantee you I'm gonna have it on my first order on Wednesday. Okay, so this ribbon is new and it's called hmm, Faux Suede, I believe. Early Espresso is the color and it's like a suede. It looks like a suede. It's very, it's very pretty. All right, so we're gonna do that. Now, so you can see it's just a regular box. So we're gonna put those die cut nested labels on, but first we're gonna make it kind of muddy and <laughs> look like a pigsty, if you will. Let me get my um, my grid paper. And you guys can see my what my grid paper looks like. See, this is how I designed. And that's not this week's box. One of last week's boxes, probably. I'm not even looking at your comments. I'm sorry, Kathy. You're excited about the adhesive too? Yeah, it's gonna be good. I can't wait. Okay, so. And the other stamps that I'm using to make all this mud is the Artisan Textures. You can see I've already labeled them for my BOGO sale, which by the way, I don't know when that's gonna be, guys. I have no idea. Sometime this summer. Um, so I'm gonna use this one. And which other one do I have out? Did I not even, oh, I didn't even get them out. What, what, look, I didn't even have them out. That one and that one. And then where's our pig? Is he not on a block either? Oh goodness. All right, all right. Is this the right one? Okay, now funny thing is about these, that these are so old. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say old, but they are old that they're not the cling mount. So that's the old, um, you know, when we had the stickers that didn't cling so well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on there to get that to stick. And I think I already put it on this one. Oh, that one doesn't have the sticker. No, nope, let's put that one on here. And this one needs a little, oh no, it doesn't have a sticker. That's why, oh, that's not a big enough block. That's why I used to not put my stickers on. If you've been around for a while, you know that that was kind of an issue, but it's been fixed now and now the stickers cling very well. Okay, so we need crumb cake and we'll start with this big one. And we'll just make some mud, make it kind of messy. And then we need soft suede, which I believe is over here. Hi, everybody. Yes, glad you're here. All right, now this is soft suede, and so we're just gonna add some more splatters. And you can even add these like splatters to your pig, but I'm not gonna do that today, because he's, I don't want him to be too dirty. 
Okay. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to do, um, I'm going to take a sponge, Stampin' Sponge and some soft suede, and I'm just going to kind of go around the edge. I'm also going to do that on my box over here, just to kind of carry over the pig, messy, muddy. You could even, you know, stamp some of those mud um, splatters on the box too. All right, so we'll put that there. And then this one, we're gonna put on the bottom. Oh, bad fast views, bad. Now I can, now I can talk about it because I don't have to use it anymore. All right, line those up, I can't see, so that they look like they are even, oh, what's happening? There we go. All right, so see how I've just sandwiched that in there like that? And now it's um, attached to the lid. So when you open the lid, it'll be like it's, you know, part of the part of the box. Okay, so now let's do our cute little pig. <laughs> you know, Mike, you're gonna be disqualified from a prize. I'm gonna disqualify you. Poor sportsmanship. No, I'm just kidding, Mike. I like, I like that you're making me laugh. You always make me laugh. Okay, now, I'm pretending, don't, I'm pretending like I'm not looking for something. <laughs> I can't find it. This is what happens when I don't make clean recordings. I am like a disaster. All right, so we're gonna stamp just the pig here in memento black. Hopefully, oh, I didn't get all of them. I was trying not to get the words, but. Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter. There we go. Then in a minute, we'll stamp just the words in Early Espresso. I'm gonna color him with Petal Pink. Thanks for sharing, you guys. I do appreciate it. I was talking this morning on uh, that conference call all about social media. It is a interesting subject that I, I feel like you can never really fully get on top of it's constantly changing but I do know that those shares do help small businesses like me all right so that was light petal pink and then we'll do dark right here on his belly down here and I'm gonna do his little hooves and his little snout in the back of his ear and maybe inside of his ear with dark and then I'm just gonna kind of blend that back in like that All right, so let's cut him out. Oh, look, you can see that pig that I stamped in the back. Can you guys see that? Bled through. Oh, well, we're moving on. We're moving on. Oh, okay, now the other thing we're gonna do here is stamp some kisses on him. There's a little kiss stamp in this set because it says hogs and kisses, which I think is super clever. How many of you have this stamp set? Do you have it? I am. Um, I used it one time at Christmas and put a little Santa hat on him um, from that Santa suit stamp set. Well, that's a mouthful. And I don't know, I can't remember. I know I've used him three or four times. He's fun. They're fun to color too, these little pigs. All right, so we're just fussy cutting all the way around. Use your sharpest little scissors and just keep on the outside of that black line Okay, now, where's our little kiss? I'm using Rococo Rose. Did I not get that one out too? My goodness, what's wrong with me? We'll just use it on the back of this. Uh-oh, I better see, let's see, it's upside down. There we go, and we'll put just some kisses on his, <laughs> on his, his little rump. He's very cute. Okay, now, this, we only are gonna do the words here, and it doesn't matter really, because I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so there I did that in early espresso. Oh no, I need to leave that open. And I'm gonna take my trimmer, which we'll pretend is already sitting here waiting for me, and we're gonna just cut it 
to the height of the word. So really we're just cutting the word out, the words. Okay, come on. And then we'll cut that a little bit like that. And then, did I flag this? Yeah, I did. I thought I had that punch out too. Oh yeah, it's right here. I did, see, I did remember some things. For these little tiny pieces, you can use your tailored tag punch right there on the end. Okay, now I didn't like, I put him like this at first, right? But then I felt like he was missing something. He needed something to stand on. So I just cut out an early espresso little scalloped border, just like a little platform for him to stand on. Okay, so we'll put that there. And we'll do a little dimensional. And we'll put him there. Then for the hogs and kisses, um, did I do it? Yeah, I did it with many dimensionals, of course. Like I would put anything flat. I can't believe I would even question myself. <laughs> um, and we'll put that on there like that. Now, see how it's sticking over a little bit? I did it on purpose because I got out my DSP pack for the end colors, which is still available. The Brights DSP pack sold out even before the retired list came out. Um, and so there's still some available. I absolutely love these color packs. Um, they're by different color families. This one is the 2019-2021 in colors. And you get several sheets of every color and just cute little patterns. And it's really good when you're trying to coordinate colors of ink and stuff. Um, so grab that if you put in an order because you're gonna want that, um, especially if you have those in colors. And you know what I forgot to do? Let's take this little piggy off. Can we do it already? Let's see, let's see, am I gonna screw up? I was gonna put a few little kisses there. There we go, and a few little kisses right there. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, so that being said, there's that little heart that I cut out of the uh, Rococo Rose DSP. And then last but not least, somewhere in the madness, there is a tiny little clip. Oh my goodness, where did it go? Well, the library clips. You know what, I know that I saw that. Did I knock it on the floor? <sighs> this is why you should be more prepared, Erica. Okay, just grab another one. These little library clips are so cute. They are one of my favorite accessories. Um, and they are only, I have it on here in red. They're only $6.65, so they've been marked down. And so I just put that right there on there like it's clipped on. How cute. Look at the little pig. Hogs and kisses. And there you have it. A little box with our piggy. Okay, so retiring products on here include this little piggy, the Artisan Texture Stamp Set, and the Rococo Rose Designer Series Paper and the Library Clip. So all of those things need to be ordered before Tuesday, right? What do you guys think? Very cute if I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next project. And the next one I will tell you is one of my favorite products, but it is not a simple product to use. It's the barn door. How many of you have used the barn door? It's so cute, it slides. See how you can make it slide like this. So right here on this side it says, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more. My, my um, barn door is a little rickety. Can you see how it's <laughs> crooked? And nothing but happiness come through your door, okay? So I, I love this set. We have a barn door right here on my office that my husband made back before you could buy the barn door kits. And I love it. So this one's going away. And I think that this, um, this stamp set and die, is so unique that um, you won't really find this anywhere else. Now to make it um, slide, you need either coins or washers. 
and I found that the pennies were too big, so I used dimes, which makes this card pretty expensive. Um, so today, again, I ran out real quick to Home Depot, put on my mask, thank you very much, and went into Home Depot and got some washers. So we're gonna try it with the washers, although I'm not sure. The thing with this, you have to find the right fit. So it has to be wider than the track. Um, so it will stay behind there. But with the dime, the penny was too big because it was showing. Um, but the dime is solid in the center. You'll see in a second when I put it together. Anyway, you can either have a, an expensive card and use dimes or go get some washers. These are number 10, if that makes any sense to you. And the whole package was $1.10. So probably cheaper to go with the washers. Okay, so let's, what should we do first? Why don't we, oh, that's coming off. Why don't we make the barn door first, okay? Because it's so cute. And then we'll be able to put it all together. This is very vanilla cardstock. And I'm gonna stamp the barn door, here it is, in crumb cake. Okay. And then we're gonna do I've already cut out the little hardware. There's the little slider, and they're so tiny. Um, the little hanging, um, hanging, what do you call that? The hanging thing <laughs> and the handle. When my husband built this barn door, it's been about five years now, they weren't really a thing yet, but now you can buy like the whole kit and it would have made it so much easier. He made the barn door, he made the track, he made all of that, um, and it was difficult. And so, in the consequence, because it's ha homemade, it's kind of rickety too. <laughs> it, kind of, it kind of goes crooked on the track, like the one on my card, but it's cute. It's turquoise. So I'm stamping the wreath in Garden Green on Garden Green cardstock and Blushing Bride on Blushing Bride cardstock. So the dies, guys, the dies are $10, $10.80. So this is what the dies look like. All right, we're getting a delivery. So, oh, the Amazon guy's, he's dancing. He doesn't know I see him. He is dancing in his car. My dog's gonna go crazy. Hopefully, I think I just heard him go outside. Um, so the dies make this a very inexpensive bundle when they're $10. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what these are for. This one is for the door, which, oh, sorry, 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 guys. I know your dogs are probably like, what's happening? And your cats are all like mad. Here's a dog. That's Charlie, if you don't know, that is Charlie, my grouchy old man, Schnauzer. Um, and then Pepper is my Schnauzer puppy who's in here. She's found her voice, for sure. And, uh, her little bark is so cute. It's hard to get mad, but I know it won't be cute forever. She likes to make herself known. And then we have another old guy, his name's Mac. He's also a schnauzer. He doesn't bark quite as much as Charlie. And he will stop when I tell him. Charlie will not stop. Charlie's barking. Oh, I cut that out with the wrong die. Okay, so that cuts that out. But however, what we need to cut that out with is this little trio of flowers so it'll just go on the wreath like that so let me do that when Charlie barks it's like an out-of-body experience he can't stop himself no matter what I mean not, no matter what he cannot stop himself okay so there's a the little flowers okay I already cut out all the hardware we'll, we'll bring that over and just actually you know what while we have it here you know I embossed this but I didn't pull that embossing folder out, but I think we probably do need to emboss it. So let's do this and then we'll emboss it. Um, should we emboss first? Yeah, let's emboss first. We're gonna use the pine wood planks embossing folder, which is really strange because I thought I pulled it out and now I'm gonna have to look for it. Oh, here it is, okay, good. Pine wood planks embossing folder. You're also gonna need your standard platform. And depending on when you bought your pine wood planks embossing folder, you will either need your one clear plate or you will need the purple plate. 
if your embossing folder says Sizzix like that, you just need your clear plate. If you're using a Big Shot. If it doesn't say Sizzix, then you need the purple plate. That's because we switched manufacturers midstream. Well, not midstream, just this last year. New die cut machine coming. Yes, it is coming out. I can't wait. But I should tell you that that will not be available to order on June 3rd. Later in the summer, they said it's not quite ready. Um, I guess they're trying to make sure they have enough inventory before they make it live. Okay, so I'm going to put this. This is a little track for the door. And I'm going to put it a little bit lower down because we want to leave room for the hardware on the door, the little sliders, the little wheels. Okay, so run that through. Addie, is that you in there? Oh, Emma, thank you. Emma's like helping me with the dogs. Should I said, please, if they start barking, come downstairs. And <laughs> I can hear her in there trying to soothe them. He's gone. It was the Amazon delivery guy. Thank you, Emma. Okay, now we've got this. Let's put all of this together. I really want my glue to work. I may need to get a new one out. Let's see. Come on. You know what's going to happen. If I keep pushing on it real hard, it will explode all over my projects. Oh, am I out? I'm out. Okay. Well, let's see. It's down at the bottom. Hmm. I have another one somewhere. Let me grab that. All right, let's see if this one works. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. All right, so none of my glues work. So let's try the fine tip glue pen. I don't really, I'm not a fan, but when that's all you got, that's what you gotta use. All right, so we'll glue that on, those little flowers. Did y'all hear my um, my Alexa? She does that when an Amazon delivery. When we get an Amazon delivery, she gives me a little do do do. All right, now here we're gonna we're gonna glue on these these hardware pieces. And if you have a pair of tweezers in your um, craft room, now's the time you're gonna need them because these are kind of hard to. To attach. Okay, there we go. Especially if you have silly long nails like I do. Okay, and then this door, I mean this handle is so tiny. Jen, you're right, it's so tiny. So tweezers. Everybody should have a pair of tweezers in your, in your craft room. You'll need them at some point. Okay, so there's that. Now let's do the little little mini dimensionals. Do any of you have a barn door in your house? Yeah, Mary, I'm out of Tombow. <laughs> well, I can feel some in there, but I don't want to get crazy aggressive with it while you guys are watching. I will make it work. <laughs> I just don't want you guys to watch me get, get aggressive with my Tombow. And I know I have some some more somewhere. I don't, it's not in my adhesive drawer, but I know I have some. Okay, so there's our little door. So cute, right? All right, let's put it together. We have this, um, and we're gonna put this, we'll put this in in a little while. So we've cut this. This is a piece uh, four by five and a fourth, um, very vanilla. I cut the track in it, we embossed it. And we're going to, <sighs> This is always this is always the tricky part. We're gonna get these um, washers. Let's try the washers. Let's see, washers or dimes, and we're gonna line them up right back there, and we're gonna put baby dimensionals. Okay, so right there, and you want it to go right in between. I just don't like the hole in the middle of that washer. It's too big. Okay, so, well, and two, I think two dimensionals is too much. Well, let's try it, okay? And then you take your second washer and you put it like that. 
Oh, that worked. Okay, so see how that slides on there? So we put one on the bottom and one on the top. And we will do that. I'm just gonna do one mini dimensional because we're gonna be here forever. All right, so it's gotta be in between and then you match up your washer there and then we can do down here. Um, again, these are number 10. I'm sure that means something in the washer world. It's a size, I don't know what that means, what size, whatever, but it. I just was in a hurry, ran in with my stupid mask on. I don't like wearing the mask, you guys. I wear it, but I don't like it. And there was a, a lady in my way and I was just trying to grab them real fast. So I got these and they seem to be okay. But again, you can use, I tried to use pennies, but I feel like the pennies um, were too big. So hopefully I have put these on here so that they will not show. Look at that. Fun. Think of all the things that you could put on that truck. You know, like not just the barn door. There's lots of slider things that you could put on there. That one's, mm, that one's looking a little questionable. Okay. Well, he's going to have to just deal with it because We've got two more projects. All right, so let's put some glue dots on top of each of these washers. This is a card that I would not want to make a hundred of, right? This is your more involved card. It's not terribly difficult. The first time you do it, you kind of were like, what do I do now? Um, but then after that, I really should have put two dimensionals on that. But then after that, you get it. Mm. Come on, you guys better behave. Don't make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we also need to put this on. This is the long track that you put on top of your barn door. You wore your, your mask for the first time. Catherine, is that what you're talking about? Ugh, I just, I miss normal life so bad. And you know, it, here everything's opening up, everything's, kind of getting back to normal but I just the mask and I get it don't tell me I know I know the reasoning I just don't like it but you know it is what it is right oh my god Debbie five hours on a Greyhound bus oh yeah no I know and as I'm complaining okay do you guys see what I'm doing I'm gonna lay this down right here put that squeeze that onto the glue dot yeah, seriously, I mean, we're complaining, I know, and medical people do it all the time. Uh, and I, I'm, like, amazed. It is, it is truly not easy. All right, so there we go, see? Oh, and that one slides better than my other one. So definitely those, those washers do work better. All right, isn't that cute? Okay, so now there's this piece right here, and I just cut a strip of um, very vanilla cardstock, but you can use the die that was the, the door. You can use um, that for this piece that we're gonna do right now. We're gonna stamp the sentiment, and let's see which is which. This one is goes on the left side. See what happens when you don't have your stickers on? I'm so glad that the sticker situation has been resolved and then this one on this side like that and then some adhesive oh yeah we're gonna run way over today you guys okay with that there so you put that under there okay da, 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 da. okay now get your adhesive strips and if you haven't added adhesive strips to your order yet, you really should. There are these long foam strips that are like dimensionals, but long and skinny. And we're gonna put these on the back like this. This um, set is really cute at Christmas too. If you make like a, like a red barn door and then you, you know, use like a Christmas sentiment, it's so cute. I use this also when my daughter, um, my girls do 4-H, 
and for her thank you notes for her auction we used the barn door um it was really cute all right and then you just did i peel all those off i suddenly don't remember doing that but i did um then you just put that on a very vanilla card base and then look your barn door it's an interactive card i just think it's so cute so cute and if anything the dies are, are perfect for creating that track um for you so you can make other slider cards what do you guys think you know, Mary, it's funny that you said that. She says, you can make a card to go with your box with a piggy behind the door. It's funny because I had made the pig and then I pulled out the barn door. And as I was making it, I was thinking that exact thing. They go together, right? The barn door, you could put the pig behind the barn door. That would be very cute. All right, a linen bow, linen thread bow right there. And we are done. What do you guys think? Okay, so barn door dies. I checked right before we came on and they are still available. They could sell out at any time. I have no idea what their inventory is, but it is while supplies last. So you guys make sure if you want it that you get it, okay? Okay, now that concludes the retirement portion of our program. And now what you've all been waiting for the sneak peek portion of our program. I know many of you, that's the only reason you're here today. And again, I will reiterate that I had a very difficult time narrowing down the two cards that we're gonna make. It was very, very hard because I have made so many cards. So, 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 so many cards um, with the new stuff. And I, some of them are going to be, you know, for a class. Some of them will be for Facebook Live. Some of them are just for fun. And I just, I couldn't, I don't know. It was very hard. But I narrowed it down. Now, somebody last week requested the new jar of flowers. And I have used this quite a bit too. This is a really fun, also interactive card. You've got this punch that goes with it. Um, so your jar can have these flowers, but there's also a straw that you can do. So I made a card with lemonade. Um, there's a lid for the jar, really, really cute. If you've followed my blog for a while, you know that I was obsessed with a other jar set that we had. So I was very excited to see a new jar. Um, it retired a while back. But the fun thing about this one is that there are these shaker domes, okay? And I foresee these selling out really, really fast. Um, so if you like these, put this on your first order on Wednesday. Otherwise, I don't know. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I have enough to send out in the Facebook Friday make and takes. I'm gonna show you an alternative. I actually made this card first without the shaker dome. Let me show you, here it is. See how I just did it without the shaker? Still very cute. Um, and then today I decided you guys need to see the shaker dome. I didn't put anything in it. I don't really necessarily think you have to put anything in it. Um, we do have these new little things that you can put in it, these little, I don't know, beads. I don't even know what they're called, but they're green and white. And I had to pick out the white ones and I didn't wanna do that. And I thought, well, wait a minute, we don't even need to put anything in there, right? One thing I remember doing a long time ago on scrapbook pages is saving the little, you know, like when you buy something and it has that little like silicone bead package in it and it says, don't eat this. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Those things we used to use like as shakers. So you could, you could save those. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to make this without anything in it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just looking with a retired. Oh, I, I miss a whole bunch of comments that with the ice cube stamp. Can't remember. Hmm. I can't remember which one has the ice cubes in it. I don't remember. Hmm. I'm drawing a total blank on that. Okay. So let's stamp. Now this one we're going to color with blend. So it is going to take me a few minutes. I have it loaded up on here. Um, Memento black. We're going to stamp it memento black. I think my memento needs to be re inked. 
Okay. Then we're going to get balmy blue and this little this little water line. And we'll add that. And if you like coloring, you're going to like this set. Then green, granny apple green for the stems. And you want to put those right up there at the edge of your jar. Okay. And now what color? And I have, look at this bright, bold, lovely color palette. Let's start over here with the stems in, okay, should I try to zoom in? Okay, hold on, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, did I zoom in? I did, okay. <laughs> I'm always scared to do that because I think it's gonna screw things up. We're still there, okay. All right, so Granny Apple Green, I'm gonna just go dark here with the stems and color these in. I, so I have my, and I'm gonna show it to you in, in with the next project. I have my June class to go ready. Um, the PDF, I just need to finalize that PDF. I will probably list it this weekend. It is the Celebrate Sunflowers, which is gonna be our last project. I feel like, I'm not making any promises, but I feel like this might be a class in July. I don't know. I've made so many cards with it already, it could easily be a class. I'm also, oh, you know what? I may save that, mm -hmm. okay. I'm starting a new club in July, you guys. I think I've mentioned it to you before. I'm coloring this in with Balmy Blue Stampin' Blends. I'm starting a brand new club in July. And it's gonna be called Club Create. Finally nailed down what I wanna call it. Now I'm gonna use Real Red, Dark and Light. And it is going to be a subscription club where it you join and you pay, it's gonna be $39 a month. And every month you're gonna get projects, a video and product. And on your sixth month, you're gonna get $25 in product free of your choice. So that is coming in July. So maybe this will be our first Club Create project. Um, we'll use all, all three or four projects. I haven't nailed that down yet. They will all feature one stamp set, one bundle, okay? So be on the lookout for that. I'm just, I've been doing my stamp club for a really long time and I felt like it was time to change things up. So we're gonna change things up in July. So be on the lookout for that. I'm excited about it. I was gonna do um, it, make it a coloring club where we just did different coloring techniques every month. But then I thought, I don't want to you know, like what if I change my mind? What if I wanna do some other things? So we're gonna do, we're gonna call it Club Create, and there will be coloring, but there will also probably be things that you don't have to color. Um, it'll be really fun. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I've put a ton of thought into it. Um, I've been really working out all the details for months, actually. Okay, so I just used Highland Heather. Um, stamp and blend and now I'm using so saffron okay color all these in these little flowers and I'm not doing a great job because I want to kind of hurry because um, I feel like we've been here for a long time <laughs> and I'm sure you guys are like okay Erica that's enough all right let me go back fix this one now I saved the granny apple green for last here because I'm gonna color in all the leaves and stems if you will but I'm also gonna fill in any white space that's left because there is kind of some white space there behind these flowers kind of like in here so if I colored the stem I didn't like that it just was white so I'm just gonna fill it all in you could come back in and do some light and dark but I'm, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna fill it in really fast, okay? That way our, our little 
bouquet is cohesive. Okay, there, that didn't take too long. Now, the punch. Everybody loves a punch. We're gonna punch out that jar. Okay. And unfortunately, we're gonna fussy cut the flowers. Now you could not, you don't have to fussy cut. What you can do is stamp this flat um, and then instead of putting what I'm gonna put the DSP over here in a minute, you'll see, you can just put white cardstock and stamp the flowers and then you'll put your jar, um, your shaker underneath, okay? But you guys know how much I love to fussy cut. So I'm fussy cutting. I'm stopping to look at y'all's comments. Okay, good. Nothing but time. Nothing but time these days. Nothing but time. My youngest daughter's in fifth grade and they were supposed to have their, you know, they promote here fifth grade is the last year of elementary school and then sixth grade they go to middle school. And fifth grade's a pretty big deal. There's a lot that goes on the last part of the year. And so we've been dealing, we've been mourning the things that we are missing out on and working through all that. But on um, Thursday next week, they're having a little parade where you get to drive through and say goodbye to all the teachers. And I'm just so sad about it. Oh, so sad. She's doing pretty good, but I think it'll be sad next week. You know, you stop and think, her teacher posted a picture on Facebook of her classroom and she's gone in and cleaned it and moved everything over, it's empty. And, you know, when we left in March, the Friday before spring break, we had no idea that she'd never see her classroom again. I mean, what? It's so bizarre. So bizarre. Okay, now this DSP, I'm switching gears. This is Tasteful Textures, a DSP, and it's awesome. It's a big stack of paper. It's 12 by 12, and it has a ton of different patterns in it. It is going to be everybody's favorite. I guarantee it. Now, this is a two by five and a fourth, and I'm centering my um jar as best i can there we go okay all right now we're going to i have to i have to think this through before i screw it up we're gonna this has two backings on it okay one in the back and if i can get it one in the Oh, come on. You know, these nails this time, I'm having a hard time functioning with them, more so than before. I don't know why, but I can't get that to peel up. There we go. Okay, and one in the front. So it's, adhe it's sticky on both sides. So I'm gonna stick it through that piece right there. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna carefully just barely pick that jar up, okay? See how, I mean, it just barely fits in there. And then I'm gonna put adhesive on a two and a fourth by five and a fourth piece of early espresso. Uh, get that in there like that and sandwich that in there. Now, if you're gonna put something in your jar, do that first. Do that before you stick things down, okay? But we're just gonna leave the jar empty. It's just a little 3D cute fun thing um and then i think we'll do dimensionals on this what did i do on the other one did I, yeah i did dimensionals put some dimensionals here oh joan you're going back to work how long have you been off has have you been off for a long time all right so then the flowers put them right down there at the base of the jar seems like lots of people are going back this is new ribbon also. I'm gonna sneak a peek because I don't remember what it's called, the Forever Greenery Trim. And it reminds me of gauze, you guys. It's super like light and thin. And so I just cut up in half and made it like a, like a skinnier piece. And I, I love when it's all fibery. So I'm gonna pull out some of those fibers, tie a little bow. This seems a little short, but I did it last time apparently. Two and a half months. Man, Joan, that's going to be hard to go back, huh? I think a lot of people have probably really liked working at home. Um, I saw somebody say that minimizing her commute 
has like changed her life. <laughs> you know, not having to commute back and forth every day. It's given her way more time. Okay, look at that, that fuzzy bow. And I'm just gonna put that kind of right there. Isn't that so cute, you guys? Have you guys thought of other ideas of what to put in there? Um, I know you can put water in there. Um, I've seen people do that with their shakers. I don't know how to do that. That seems very tricky. Um, also, you could do gel, hair gel, if you want it to look liquidy. Um, but there's lots of things that we can do. Um, ice cubes, you know, if you use those little silicone beads, I wonder if those would look like ice cubes. Hmm, that's a thought. Okay, the sentiment comes from this new set called Mini Mates. I love a good sentiment set. And I'm just gonna use the um, Just Thinking of You. I'm gonna do that in um, Soft Suede on the corner of a four by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White. Remember, all these measurements are over on the PDF at pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo. Has anybody checked? Is it up? Last week I didn't even realize it wasn't up for several hours. I apologize. You guys let me know if you ever, look at that. Okay, all right. Nope, nope, not gonna have it, huh? Come on. I'm gonna have to throw this one away, it's brand new. That's why we discontinued it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for the new adhesive. Oh, come on. You know what, I'm gonna have to revert to snails today. Do I have a snail? Yep, good old snail. Okay, actually, I don't need to put that there, do I? I need to put it over here. So now, We'll make that the back of the card. <laughs> no, we'll cover it up. There we go. And if you have, let's see, are we gonna be able to do it? Nope, we're gonna get a new card base. Over here I have white already cut. All right, dimensionals. You're not gonna be able to mail this card already so you might as well use as many dimensionals as you possibly can i'm sure that there you could you would need a padded envelope we used to carry padded envelopes for shakers do you guys remember that that was a really long time ago <sighs> but now we don't so i don't know how you would mail it and voila so cute right so remember if you don't have a dome and if i don't get enough domes to send them out before they go on back order Remember, you can do it without the dome and it's still just as pretty, okay? What do you guys think? Do you love it? Okay, I will quickly show you the other cards that I made. Um, but it's just, it's secret because I might be in a class. I don't know. Here's one with those little new beads in it. Can you guys see those beads? It comes in, they're clear and green. And there's the sunflowers. And then here's the lemonade. How cute is it with magenta madness? Right, so cute. And look at the stitched banner, so cute. Okay, so that's coming, don't worry. You'll see it later. All right, so let's move that out of the way. We've got one more, and the next one's fast. The next one is quick, I promise. Let me move all of this. Okay, and I do, I wanna clarify that this project and the next project feature products you can't order until Wednesday. Uh, when today is the, what's today, the 29th. So June 3rd, 2020, you'll be able to order from the new catalog, but not until the afternoon, okay? All right, last but not least, sunflower, celebrate sunflower. After I'm done with this card, I'm gonna show you the class to go that's coming, okay? So cute, this card actually started out like this. This is my team birthday cards this month. I'm still zoomed in, hopefully you guys can see, okay. This is um, this month's my team's birthday card. And I was gonna, I thought well, we'll make that today, but I don't think I have enough of this paper. So I said, okay, well let's switch over to that blue um, tile paper. These are from the same pack as that wood grain, the touch, touches of texture. Is that what it's called? Nope, taste, nope, yep. Who knows, where is it? I don't even see it. In good taste. What was I thinking? Touches of texture, that must be the stamp set. Um, 
in good taste designer series paper beautiful okay so let's make this card this card features misty moonlight which is a brand new in color and here are here's the bundle celebrate sunflowers i am obsessed with sunflowers i love them they're my flower of choice um, if my husband ever brings home flowers, I want them to be sunflowers. They're they're my favorite. So really fun, really cool die. Um, you'll see it in the cards in just a second. That I'm going to show you from the class. We're going to just use that small sunflower. And we're going to stamp it in soft suede. But we're going to stamp off. So we're going to stamp one time, and then we're going to come over here and stamp it in kind of lighter, okay, like in half the strength. Um, this is one of those labels from the the new dies. Let me look at the name. <laughs> Tasteful Labels dies. They're awesome. They are awesome. I love a good stitched label. Know that you are loved. Okay. I'm going to give this ink a few minutes to dry because we're going to use yellow. Um, there is not going to be, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I'm right. There's not going to be a Bumblebee uh, Stampin' Blends. They're gonna be Stampin' Blends in the other four colors, but not Bumblebee. Um, I'm right about that, right, you guys? Suddenly I'm questioning myself. Um, because what I think is that So Saffron is very close. So you can use So Saffron. All right, so a crumb cake card base. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, we gotta stamp the card base. We gotta do that. Clean your sunflower. Get your crumb cake ink. And I'm just gonna stamp around the edge just to give us a little more something something for our card. Okay, there we go. Now we'll put this, I put a three and three by four piece of DSP on a three and a fourth by four and a fourth piece of misty moonlight. Um, okay, good. I'm right. Thank you, Carla. You know, I feel like I know all these facts and then uh, until I start talking about it <laughs> on Facebook Live, I'm like, oh, did I read that right? Here's another piece of that DSP. It's like different, really cool different textures. There's like carpet and, and um, tile, wood, um, woven. I don't know. It's full of different textures. Really, really neat. All right, and we'll put that there. All right, let's color our sunflower quickly with, um, we're gonna do So Saffron. Now, I am gonna cut the leaves off because I did not wanna bring in another color. But if you want to color your leaves, go for it. Um, I just, I don't know, for some reason, I did not want to have those those leaves. All right, so that was light. Now I'm gonna come back in here with dark. So saffron. All the way around. Does that squeaking bother you guys? I know my daughter's like, what is that sound? All right, just a little bit of dark in there. And then soft suede. I wonder, should we do dark or light? That's light. Let's see what dark looks like. Yeah, I think I like dark better for the center. I don't know, maybe it's too dark. I colored about 30 of these last night while I was watching TV for my team birthday cards. And I didn't like this, the light. But now you know what I'm thinking? Mm, dark is pretty dark. Hmm. Well, you decide what you like. Dark or light? That, yeah, no, not the dark. Dark, because see what happens when you do the dark is you lose the detail. Oh well, that'll be fine. Uh, I better close that ink pad. Okay, bring this back over. Now the only dye that we are using from these sunflower dyes is the sunflower. Man, I really don't like that dark. But we're gonna go for it because I've already kept you here too long. Um, we're using the outline sunflower dye right there and like I said I did not like those leaves for this card so we're gonna do a little bit of surgery here and remove the leaf the leaves um, 
there are some leaf dies in this set that would be great also if you wanted to add in some more realistic well not realistic but you know like bold colored leaves okay so there we have that now I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this guy and I have cut out the two little stems that are also in this sunflower die set in crumb cake remember I have an abundance of crumb cake <laughs> and we're going to put one up like that and then I'm going to cut this one down a little bit shorter and it's going to kind of come down like that okay now dimensionals oh that's a good idea Mary she says to stamp and color another center fussy cut the center and put it on top that's a great idea Mary I will do that because I don't like it I don't like it at all and then dimensionals right there and did I do a bow yeah I did let's get the linen thread I am sad to be losing all the twine in the new catalog this is the only twine that there is so you guys are probably well no I take that back I take that back there are some ribbon combos packs that have some twine but not just twine by itself which you guys know I use a lot of where did I put that I put it down here but I kind of like it up there up there or down there hmm, I'm gonna put it up here I don't know some of you probably are like oh no but I like it but that's all right you can do it however you want all right and there you have celebrate sunflowers now I don't like the bow there the whole flower needs needs some <laughs> help all right so there you go here it is maybe it makes more sense down there look at the difference in the dark and the light huh that's really interesting okay so this this set also and the paper celebrate sunflowers in in good taste designer series paper is not available until June 3rd after 2 p.m. okay so remember if you want the little piggy or the barn door that order has to be done by Tuesday because then they're gone forever right if you want the sunflower or the jar of flowers that order can't go in until Wednesday afternoon either way let's see if I can zoom out either way if you use host code right here hmm can you guys see it the host code on your order by Monday no no by Wednesday at midnight I will send you all four make and takes for free um, the host code is also here on the PDF. Look, it says you have until June 31st. That is a typo. That should say June 3rd. <laughs> June 3rd. And that's not the right host code. This is the right host code. But the PDF on my blog has the correct host code. So don't worry. Um, the host code is S-V-U-G-R-W-Y-B. So this week you have until Wednesday. That means that these make and takes will not go out probably until next Friday. Okay. Usually they go out on Wednesday, but this next week they'll go out on Friday. Um, if you put in two orders, if you put in an order before Wednesday and an order on Wednesday and use a host code, you're gonna get another additional freebie from me. Um, I've got lots of embellishments to give away. Um, so if you are gonna put in two orders, just know that I will send you something for free. Okay, oh, I was gonna show you the sunflower cards. I will show you guys this more in detail next week when it's listed and ready. But this is the Celebrate Sunflower class. I'm a little bit nervous because a lot of this stuff is on low inventory already. So I'm not real sure how that's going to work. But look how beautiful these are. Everything that was pre-ordered for demonstrators is pretty much on low inventory. Um, so just put on your patient hat and know that we're doing our best, all right? Blame it all on COVID. But anyway, this is the class. It has eight cards right one two three four five six seven eight cards um and i will give you the details on that next week okay guys i think that's it let me see i will come back and look to see if i missed any questions i'm sure i did because i was not reading comments very well today um you guys were great thanks for joining me and i will you know what i will be live on tuesday at some time too 
to kick off the new catalog Tuesday afternoon, okay? So get ready, get excited, and don't forget to put in your retired list before. No, I meant Wednesday. I'll be live Wednesday. I keep thinking the new catalog goes live Tuesday, but it goes live June 3rd, Wednesday. So I will be live on Wednesday at some time to kick off the new catalog. Don't forget your retired orders have to be in by Tuesday. You guys have a great weekend. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.